Next part of this question involves finding solutions using the complete and square method. So we're straight on to example 6. So solve the equation x squared plus 8x plus 10 equals 0. Given your answer is in third form, so that means you need to leave square root in your final answer. You can't you know, just calculate it working right to decimals. So, first thing I'm going to do is because when completing the square it's easy just to deal with the x terms, I'm going to smack that over to the right hand side and make it x squared plus 8x equals minus 10. Now complete the square here, so it's going to be a bracket squared and minus, x and a plus, half is 4, square that's 16. Wallop that over to the other side, we get x plus 4 squared equals 6. And then it's the same as we were doing a couple of um, lessons ago on this chapter. Let's take the square over a square root. It's going to be plus or minus root 6. Bring the plus 4 over as minus 4. x equals minus 4 plus or minus root 6. Well, that's two solutions. Example 7. 2x squared minus 8x plus 7 equals 0. So the first thing we're going to do here is whack the 7 over. Now I don't want to deal with this 2. So rather than factorising 8, which can be a little tricky, I'm just going to divide everything by 2. I'm going to halve everything. And rather than writing 3.5, I'm going to write it as a fraction. Minus 7 over 2. Now I'm going to complete the square. So bracket squared minus that. Same sign. Half this 2, square that 4. That's going to smack over as an add. Now um, to add those together, what I'm going to need to do is turn this into a fraction where the denominator is 2. So it's 8 over 2. Minus 7 halves plus 8 halves is 1 half. Um, square root, bring it over square root. Um, now you can write that as square root 1 is 1. That means that's root 2. And you don't particularly like leaving thirds as denominators as we learned when we looked at rationalised denominator. So a times top and bottom by root 2. We end up with root 2 over 2. And then bring the minus 2 over as plus 2. x equals 2 plus or minus root 2 over 2. Okay. Have a go now then at exercise 2.